Bene. Sorry, boss. First world problems, Danny. Besides, I've been well taken care of. It's gone in your favour then? Ah, that's one way to put it. I should be okay for a year or so. Ah, well, like you once said, the winners and losers, eh? Mm, yeah, well, listen. One thing I will say about the company is they've got a good track record for appointing the right people. Aye, maybe. Seems a bit like we're moving in the wrong direction. Listen, the branch closure's been difficult for everybody, yeah? Okay? But look on the bright side, you've still got your job. Okay? Seems a bit short term to me. Well, when are the interviews? Friday, I think. You think? I take it you didn't apply. You joke. What? The amount of experience you've had in the last couple of years. You might regret that. My only fan gets a job. <laughs> right, listen. No need to prolong this. Okay? You know, I heard they got a six figure sum. Dairy tip, man. I'm not going to be fair, but that smug look he had in his face, you never know. Mm, true. I could love to him anyway, man. What's the verdict anyway? What did the high heat gin have to say? The, the, the high heat gin just stared at me for about 10 15 minutes and started going like, meh, 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 where are lips moving and stuff like that, and their eyeballs. I didn't really pay attention to what she was saying. Nah, uh, short calls are the drone. <laughs> Yeah, shut that voice, Danny. Yeah, Danny. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah. I like the fact that as soon as she takes off, she instantly crashes into something. I love how she just floats about with that merc because it probably costs more than her house and starts talking about savings. Yeah, I'd hate to think about what the lease in that costs. Be more. Yeah, I'd have one as well if I was her. Sit in your face because you're an embarrassment, Danny. Be more. Because the more. That was a joke, mate. That's the joke, Daddy. That's the joke. How was that of you? I mean, uh, I yeah, that, that interview went all right. Like, I knew what I was talking about this time round, but yeah, it was all right. Do you recognise anyone else that was there? Apart from that girl from the Ludwig branch, no, I didn't see anybody else. It was all externals. Fiona. Yeah, if you're on a man, yeah. She's hardly a girl, mate. She's the same age as you. Besides, she's got a kid. A kid? A ki she's got a kid. I've got a, I've got a master's in Nordic mythology. I ah, sure I might still be like this place, you know. But I'm working on that career path still. Well, she's got an MBA, so that Donald Trump's your master's in the dark arts. <sighs> Whatever, man. Lose a chippy attitude, mate. It doesn't suit you. I had a woman for a boss before, actually. Apart from every girlfriend that you've had. Then you're fine, mother Danny. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Right, okay. Anyway, I'm all up for equality in the workplace and all that stuff anyway. So, for another one? Yes, please. Paints, 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 what, they haven't even given her a new car? Who uh, else she took a wage cut to go take this job? I hope you weren't talking about me. Hmm? Oh no, I was talking about you. Stuart, is it? Yes. I'm Fiona. Good afternoon. saying that I'm really looking forward to working with you all. I've heard great things about the three of you and that's the reason why you're being brought over to my team here at Livingston. I know that um, 
you were all loyal to Jim and that the changes might have come around a little too quickly. Too qu quickly? We only found out about this on... What day is it? Wednesday. Wednesday. Monday? Well, I do apologise for that, Aidan. The negotiations, they took a bit longer than expected. However, we did manage to secure your jobs and protect your pay and working conditions. I don't have that on right now. Okay, I'll get on to HR and I'll find out why the letters haven't been sent out. We'd appreciate that. Thanks. Okay, we've got a lot to discuss about the winding down of the Cumbernauld branch and moving you all over here to Livingston. So I thought it'd be best that we got together as a team and we discussed things. Get some input. Yes, Aidan. I've got a question. Okay. It was under my impression that the C Nold branch was more profitable than the Levy branch. Well, I'm afraid I can't answer that question. But you do agree that it was more profitable? The Livingston branch has had a lot of investment over the last five years. I think what you didn't hold on. I think what he's trying to say is that this seems like a hastily executed hostile takeover. <laughs> You're kidding, right? We're part of the same company? Oh, well, it doesn't feel like it right now. I mean, like, where in the world in Livingston is the high heating? She should be here to answer for all this. This? <sighs> okay. Like a bit of melodrama, do we? Let's start again, shall we? Does anyone have any other issues they'd wish to raise? Or can I go over these figures with you? Anyone? Okay. We've got a lot to go over, so Aidan, I suggest you take a seat. I'm killing me, go. Aidan, take a seat. by telling us about the new product that you've been working on, the new intelligent data mining interface that you and the team have been working on, yeah? Well, Danny, um, you, you had the thing ready about the uh, s s software. No, it was Stuart that took the lead in that one. Yeah. Stuart. Oh, right. Um, so imagine you've got a big tall jar, right, and it's filled with marbles, but the jar's green, okay, and you've got green marbles, and you've got red marbles, and you've got blue sure, marbles. Sure, I appreciate, I, I do know about the interface, can you just, you know, where are we at? Alright, so marbles are these little um, stone balls to start you off, uh, some of them have got a little string of colour, occasionally they make them out of glass, which doesn't really make much sense because they're called marbles, <laughs> you, would, you would think it would be marble. Anyway, so the big issue here isn't really, you know, what they're made out of, whatever, it's the fact that you just can't see what colour they are. It's, it, it's basically like, if, I don't know, if you said, ah, I'm going to put some rose tinted glasses on, you're suddenly everything's red, you can't tell what's red, you can't tell what's blue, you can't... Anyway, so what we do is we find these colours, this information about the marbles, and we just kind of reach down on in there and we just pull all the marbles out and then we count them and then we separate them into little piles and we look at each pile and we go geez there's a marble there's a marble there's a marble there's a red marble there's a green marble there's a blue marble there's a purple one don't know why there's a purple one shouldn't be a purple one we're talking but why about is there a purple one there i don't know exactly and that's why we have this interface because we need to find out who's a purple marble you might be a purple marble danny might be a purple marble aiden's definitely a purple marble what's a purple marble Aiden, Aiden is a fucking Guys, marble. enough about purple marbles, right? Right, okay. This has been an extremely stressful week. And you're in I've got another meeting to go to. Can we just please cut to the chase? Right, well the problem with Jim was a yellow marble. So, the Greeks said that there were four elements. There was earth, wind, fire and water, right? But now it's 2016. We've got a new element. We've got earth, wind, fire, water and data. We need to focus on data, we need to find a way to sure. harness this element. I understand how the interface works, so can you just cut to the chase please? Right, okay. 
Well, basically, what we're trying to do is come up with, do you know what Greek fire is? It's a fire that can't be put out. It's a fire that burns a tunnel. It's a fire within hearts, within minds, but it mostly physically real. And what we're trying to do is come up with Greek data. Greek data. A data that will never die. A data that we can use sure. to purge yeah, our enemies. <laughs> anyway, what's happening this weekend? Well, as you well know, Fiona, I'm working. Sorry, I forgot about that one. What about you, Aiden? He's probably meeting Tinderella. She's, <laughs> she's called Sophie and I've spoke to her like three times now. Alright, what did you speak to her on? Was it Tinder? It might have been Tinder. What's her second name? There's like an A in it. Ignore the pair of them, he's probably taking his mum out. Oh, he is a good boy. Well, Stuart, why don't you enlighten the table about what you get up to at the weekend? No. Yes. Still no. <laughs> yes! Stuart, anything that you want to share? No, Fiona. He's into cosplay. Oh, really? That's brilliant. Who's your character? Uh, actually, it's two characters. I'm a huge Marvel fan. All right. <laughs> Didn't expect that one. Yep. You can see why it suits you. These aren't even prescription, Fiona. Well, guys, we all survived the first week. Well done, Fiona. Well done, Danny and Stuart. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Cheers. 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 I appreciate it, guys. Anyway, I need to shoot off. I've got Amy to collect. So, why don't you take this and get yourself another couple of drinks? See, it's my way of saying thank you for making me feel so... Welcome. You really did take a pay cut for this, man. Anyway, I'll see you on Monday. 